Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. There are a few things more comforting than candle light, especially when you're out in the woods. Stay tuned and we're going to take a look at the original candle lantern from UCO. Thanks for watching. So let's quickly take a look at the specs for this lantern, okay? Closed up like this, it is 4.25 inches by 2 inches, okay, so it's 2 inches this way. 4.25 inches. Once extended, it's 6.5 inches and of course remains two inches in diameter, but it's 6.5 inches long. The entire kit, including the lamp and the neoprene cocoon, as well as the little reflector, weighs 8.5 ounces. The lantern on its own weighs six and three quarter ounces. That's without the neoprene cocoon and all that stuff. Now, one of the neat things is you have several options for the candle that actually burns inside of it. It comes with the basic nine hour candle. You can also get a nine hour citronella candle, which will allow you obviously to help ward off insects and mosquitoes and stuff like that. Or you can upgrade to the 12 hour beeswax candle. All three of them are very nice. Now I've used only the original candle that I bought a couple of extras of, not the beeswax or the citronella, but I assume they probably work the same. It also comes with this little neoprene cocoon. They call it a cocoon. Basically it's thick neoprene and it allows you to put this inside of it. You can pack it in your backpack, gives it quite a bit of protection between closing it and covering the glass that way, as well as putting it in the neoprene. It really makes a big difference and allows you to travel safely with it. It also comes with this little side reflector that just kind of hangs on the side. I'll show you guys a little bit more about that in a little while. As you can see earlier, it comes with a carry handle. It also has a little chain on top with a hook to hang it from anywhere that you want to, which is really handy inside of the house, inside of the tent, whatever you might be. And it also has a twist lock base, which I'll show you guys as well in a little bit. It comes in black, red, or green, and it's selling currently on Amazon for $22.49. That's complete with the cocoon and this little reflector. I think the construction overall is quite good. Uh, these do not come off. The edge of this do not come off. It's crimped on the inside so this won't just pull off real easily. It's got real simple construction up here. Really nice little hook. This is not heavy so it will hold it very easily. It's made out of aluminum and does seem fairly tough. Okay, You open it and close it simply by pulling it and pushing it. Okay, Just like that. And once it's open, you can lower the glass just like this. You want to light it, you light it right there and you bring the glass back up very simply. The way that the candle goes in is you just unscrew here. Okay, and pull out. This is the candle itself. Again, you pull out and you can see that there's a spring. And what that spring does is it keeps this constantly going up. You can see on the side here, a little window. This tells you how much of the candle is left. And again, very simply, this is attached, which is really nice. Okay, you're not, it's not flailing around everywhere. Just push it in, pop it in place, and you've got it ready to go. Put it at the bottom of the lantern lock it into place and you're good to go. The little reflector basically just attaches to the side right here, okay? And when it's in place, okay, it's gonna reflect out that way towards the camera here and basically try to get you more of the light reflected towards a book or whatever it is you're doing. It just adds a little bit of direction or directionality to the light itself. There's two ways to light it according to UCO. I really see only one way to light it. You can, of course, take this out, light the candle, pop it back in, but I don't see any reason to do that. Just lower this, light your candle, and close it back up and you're good to go. So real quickly, how to light it. All right, we're just gonna lower this down. Give it a light. There you go, once it starts going, put this up just to protect. Make sure it's up nice and good before it gets too hot. And there you go, nice little lantern, okay? Puts out quite a bit of light. I'm dropping the light in here as much as I can. It's the daytime. Maybe I'll try to do something tonight, but you can see pretty well. As far as the reflector goes, you just put this on the side. And again, it's gonna be kind of hard, but you can see the directionality. That's away from me. The reflector basically blocking from me, okay? So it doesn't see it. And then when I flip it around, you can see that it does produce quite a bit more light on me. You can easily grab it, hang it wherever you want. Works super, super well. Now I've had this candle for about six months and it still looks brand new. I'm really happy with it. I haven't had any issues whatsoever with smoke or with soot buildup, and I've not had any problems with wax spilling out. The paraffin just kind of uh, evaporates off like most candles, and it's worked really, really well. I've used one almost whole candle since I've had it. I actually had a power outage for several hours one day at the house, and I used it quite a bit that night. Used about half my candle in about half the time, probably about four hours. I put a new candle in for this video just so you guys could see how it looks, but so far, so good. I found it to be safe. It puts out plenty of light. Really works well for the functions of either inside of a tent, uh, at camp, whatever it might be, or for emergency purposes at home. They sell several other models, including some that hold more than one candle, and I'm probably gonna get one of those two or three candle versions for the house 
exclusively for emergencies. The only real complaint I have is nitpicky, but it is a little bit of a complaint, is when you have it inside of the neoprene sleeve, the bottom of this handle sticks out the bottom and it pokes out through the neoprene. So basically you can't sit it. If you wanna sit it, you have to set it upside down, which of course is not a big deal, but it definitely is something to think about. You can't set it on its base. You have to set it upside down. One other thing to keep in mind is that this top gets super hot, guys. I mean, super hot. The lamp itself doesn't get very hot. The glass doesn't get very hot. But this little metal cap up here gets real hot, so be careful. Other than that, I think it's a great addition for any outdoor kit or emergency kit at home. So that is a quick look at the UCO Candle Lantern. I really like this particular product. I think it's great for uh, the campground. I think it's great for your tent on backpacking trips if you want to bring it and carry the weight. It's pretty lightweight and this candle lasts a long, long time. I bet you longer than batteries in most cases. And like I said, it just adds a level of nostalgia to kind of have candlelight out in the camp. Also can use it like we did recently for an emergency when lights are out or whatever it might be. Works very well, safe, easy to carry, great for the kids to use. I really recommend it for emergency situations as well. So do me a favor guys, if you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. YouTube channels like mine grow when you like videos, when you subscribe, so make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you really wanna know when I release my next video, hit the ding dong bell and you'll be the first one to know. As always guys, I really appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Always looking for new and interesting products to review. Like I said, I've used this one for a good while now really felt comfortable doing a review. I think it's worked very well. A lot of the issues that I was concerned about as far as how well it was made, how well it would hold up, how well this little cocoon itself would work in protecting it, it's all worked out and it works really, really well. So I highly recommend using this product. This is not a sponsor video. I bought this on my own. You can see the lights really starting to come out now. This is a new candle, like I said. I changed it for the video. It's really starting to put out a lot of light. Very, very nice. So let me know down below if you like this kind of video, these types of products that are not only for camping but also for emergency preparedness. I love prepping and emergency preparedness and would be more than happy to do more videos for you guys on that topic. So as always guys, stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.